What is up y'all? All right guys, so today is actually going to be something pretty exciting. If you guys remember a few videos back, basically I came to this pond, I'm like, what the heck, why is it drained? And then you guys were like, it's probably because of the rain. Today I figured, you know what, why not hit this pond up again? That was my first time last time, maybe the water will be up more. Now it's literally even more drained. I don't really know what's going on, but I can see that there are fish in the water and they're pretty decent fish too. Anyway, I don't know, we'll get back to that. But if you guys have been following my channel for a while, you guys might've seen this video up here. It was a really fun video. I want to make a part two. Basically I went to a yard sale, I got some stuff to fish with and I went fishing. I might have had a budget, I really don't remember. Here's the part that needs a little bit of explaining. All right, so basically if you guys did watch the video, I ended up at this one dude's house. He actually hooked me up with a rod and a tackle box, $5 each, so it came out to $10 total. But basically guys, in that video, I took the rod and reel that was five bucks and I went trout fishing with it. I did not use any lures from the tackle box. I don't even, I think I barely scanned over the tackle box and then I kind of just like put it down in my room and I haven't touched it since. That was a long, long time ago. I actually just found the tackle box the other day, which gave me the idea for this video. I have not looked inside it yet. I do not even remember what's in there, even the slightest. Today for this video, we're actually going to be going through the tackle box. I have no clue how old it is. I don't know if there's any really good baits in there. For all I know, there could be some treasure in there, some like really expensive lures. Maybe just some lures that even work really good. I, I honestly have no clue. So we're going to be starting off this video today by cracking into this old tackle box that I got for $5 at a yard sale from this mystery old man. And then with the lures or whatever really we find in there, we're going to be doing some fishing today. Now I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to catch any fish in this little puddle or not. That is yet to be determined. But yeah, let's get to the tackle box, man. I'm really just surprised at myself like after that whole video or even during the video, I never really looked through the box. I don't know why. I guess I was just too busy at the time. Who knows what could be in there, honestly. Maybe it's a haunted tackle box. Who knows, man? All right, enough talking. Let's get over there. Let's crack this thing open. Let's see if there's anything that we could fish with here today. Let's see if there's any treasure in here. <clears throat> All right. So starting off, this is kind of the top shelf right here. Basically, we have some old matches. Let's see if there's actually anything all right, so there are still matches in there. Not sure if those would even work. Spinner bait type thing. This actually looks like it could still work. Looks like there's a hook right here. There's another spinner bait, another spinner bait right there, black and yellow. So this seems to be this guy's like spinner bait compartment. Here's a little white one. I mean, they, they still look like they could be usable. Okay, that's kind of stuck to the bottom. We have split shots. What the heck is this thing? All right, that's interesting. Looks like we have a little screwdriver tool. Oh, looks like that is a little wine opener thing. Is that what that is? A little corkscrew? I can dig it. I can dig it. I mean, that's pretty much it for the top of this. We have a little bobber right there. How many more do we have here? One, two, three. And I see some, I see some cool stuff here, Looks man. like we're starting off. That has something all over it. This is a uh, spoon. Another spinner bait. Next to the spinner bait, we had a little hair jig. Another spoon and a sticky plastic on that. Lots of uh, sticky plastics, man. These things, when they get old and hot and stuff like that, they're just no bueno. This is something that actually looks pretty cool. Now this looks like an old antique kind of popper frog. Oh, look at that, old hula popper. If any of you guys are familiar with this kind of things, let me know if any of this stuff's like worth anything, you know? This is like actually pretty cool. Like this is something I would use and this looks like it'll still be usable. Maybe I'll actually use it here since it's so shallow. Maybe I can get a little top water bite going with this. All right, next up, let's see, to the right of the hula popper, what is this little guy right here? This looks like a little, what the heck is that? Red Arbogast Company mud bug. This thing looks like an antique as well. Like, I mean, look at this metal. It, it looks like the paint and everything is still good. No rust. This thing could definitely still be used. Again, guys, let me know if this is like treasure or if this is like, I, I have no clue. I'm not really into the whole vintage lures thing, but I mean, some people, that's their gig, you know? So let me know in the comments below. It has a little rattle to it. All right, right here, this is a little jitterbug. I can tell from that. This is so cool, man. It's like not, they're not rusted at all. It literally says jitterbug bug right there on the top and let me see what this is jitterbug made by fred bogus akron ohio not gonna lie the only reason i know akron or akron or however you say it is lebron james is from there LeBron James. I, this has to be some kind of vintage lore right here though i know jitterbugs are freaking good baits too all right to the right of where the jitterbug was is this little guy right here this is called the devils oh i can't read that what the heck does that say it's actually really cool it's got a little propeller back here a little propeller in the front i mean i don't know you guys tell me if you guys know the name of this definitely let me know in the comments below i think that the coolest thing about these baits and this box in general is that like this stuff is not rusted like this is completely usable i feel like if these are actually worth money they're in pretty good condition none of the hooks are rusted. another spinner bait what is this guy what is this guy what is this guy it looks like a little jerk bait does it have a name no name i don't know exactly what it is but it's some kind of old jerk bait this guy is rusted up a little bit all right this is an old agla made in france yeah man that is an antique right there that's really cool right next to where that was i know what this guy is man and this looks like a freaking good one too it is a really, really pretty color. Guys, this is a Haddon Zara Spook.
Kazara Spook, however you want to say it. These things are freaking great top water baits. They just walk so well. This guy, this is just such a good bait. So that is the top three shells, and there is actually some really good stuff in there. All right, let me make my way down to the bottom. I gotta hurry this up. I'm getting demolished by mosquitoes out here. All right, so let's see. There's a newspaper. This is kind of interesting. Let's see what this says. This looks like a. I wonder if I can find a date on this. Distributed weekly by Ryland Daily. Oh, you guys freaking see that? Week of May 23rd to 29th, 1980. This newspaper, whatever the heck this thing is. Holy crap, look at these pictures. Dude, this is from 1980. That is really, really cool and unique. So I'm gonna put that right there. I'm definitely gonna go through it. I'm not sure if I'll do it on video or not, but that is really cool. Yeah, I remember this guy. I'm pretty sure this is a little pamphlet for it. This is a Johnson Century Model 115. All right, what else is down here? This is Wisconsin, holy crap, guys. Look at this, Wisconsin. Fishing regulations, 1981 to 1982. This is old, like this tackle box, what is that? It makes this thing like, what, like almost 40 years old? So I guess whoever owned this originally was from Wisconsin. Some more papers. Oh, no freaking way. Guys, this is actually crazy. I'm gonna blur out the parts that I don't want you guys to see. Dude, I just literally found a 1980 non-resident four-day fishing license. This paper is like almost 40 years old. This is what fishing licenses used to look like, like way back. This guy's name was Walter. It says he was born in 46. I just did some math on my phone here. That would make him 72 years old if he was still with us. Hopefully you're somewhere out there, Walter. That can you imagine guys if I actually like found whose taco box this was and then like we fished together or something? Like holy crap, this is this is treasure to me. 1980. I was not alive in 1980. Stringer, three big bobbers. We have this tool, whatever the heck that is. Pocket catalog for fishing. Alright guys, right now I just had on this old jitterbug. It'd be interesting to see if there's any fish in here, first of all. I mean I saw what I think might have been some catfish. To be honest, the jitterbug still works like a dream. Like it has very, very good action. Ooh. Guys, on the jitterbug. Yo, we keep, oh my gosh. Did you guys see, holy crap. Dude, this is a nice fish too. Oh my goodness. Come here, buddy. Oh my gosh. Guys, holy freaking crap. Let's go. On the jitterbug. Ah, ah. Yep, he got my fingers a little bit. Holy. Oh. <laughs> Guys, let's freaking go on the antique old jitterbug. Let me get him out of his mouth so I don't end up getting stabbed with this little thing. Oh my goodness. Guys, I, I was just saying this too. I was just saying. The jitterbug, I mean, it still works like a freaking dream. That is a good, good fish right there. Where is the lighting at? There we go. Dude, that, like, honestly, guys, that is a freaking solid tanker right there for a tiny little puddle like this. I mean, honestly, I cannot ask for much more than that, especially, oh my gosh, on the old jitterbug, on Walter's old jitterbug. Woo! Let's go. I probably shouldn't scream that loud. There's a bunch of houses back here. Let's say goodbye to this fat, fat, chunky beauty. Oh my gosh, all right. Let's let her go. I can't get any closer than this. I'll throw her deep down in. Let's see, yep. Yeah, there she goes. She's swimming right off. Look at that. You can see the top of her back. Like, this is so shallow, and now she's just chilling over there. <sighs> Guys, th 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 what's going on, man? Such a cool way to catch a fish, especially top water in summer. What, what, what's better than that, man? All right, let's see if we could do that again. I wonder if there's any fish that are bigger in here. That, th it's just, oh my gosh. Dude, right after that cast. Oh my gosh, that guy hit it right at the top of the water too. Come here. Oh my goodness, these freaking fish are big and they put up a crazy fight. Guys, can you see, holy crap, man. Another quality bass. I mean, this guy's a little bit more skinny. I'm telling you guys, man, the action on this little dude is insane. I need to start using jitterbugs more. Oh, that was, oh my God. That's a big fish. Guys, this is a freaking tank. Holy crap, this is bigger than the first one. Oh my God, he exploded. Holy crap, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. This dude literally exploded on it. Please come here, this might be my personal best. No, guys. Oh my gosh. Can you say freaking tank? Oh my goodness. Look at how he, like, that's literally in his mouth. He's so heavy, he snapped my braid. 
That is the freaking monster. All right, Jitterbug is out. I'm gonna put this guy down. He did his work for today. All right, guys, here we go. The release. Look, at, oh my gosh. What a freaking beauty. This pond is really producing right now. I mean, it, it just looks like a little puddle. That's all it really is, but they're destroying the top water baits and that is, I, I could just not ask for anything more than that. There we go. Next, I think I'm gonna go into this box and I'm going to grab this old little hula popper right here. This is gonna be the next bait that I use. Hopefully this can come, I, I hopefully just a little bit close to what the old jitterbug was doing. All right, y'all, hula popper tied on. There we go. There we go. Oh my God, tighten the drag. Dude, <laughs> oh my gosh. This is freaking ridiculous. Popped it like, what was that, three or four times? Dude just comes up and hammers it. These fish, oh my gosh, these fish are really looking for a meal that are in here. Quality, quality fish. Like this is another good one right here. There's that popper in there. Just absolute insanity. That guy literally just bent my hook. <laughs> here we go guys, yet another nice one. One thing about the popper is that it has a lot less hooks. There he goes back. So I mean, even if they do choke it like that guy did, it's pretty easy to get out. This does not seem real. I mean, guys, this does not happen every day that you go out and you catch a bunch of quality, quality fish, especially on this old stuff that I'm using. Man, I'm guessing, I mean, first of all, the time of the day, this is the right time. The sun is setting over that way. These fish, most likely, I mean, they're pretty hungry. They're in this puddle here, probably not too much food besides, you know, things that fall into the water here. Oh my gosh, I did not think a fish had that. Okay, that's another good one. That might be bigger than the other biggest one. Okay. Oh my goodness. By the way, that guy, dude. Oh my gosh. I mean, I, I set the hook and it felt like a freaking brick. Oh my gosh, how am I gonna get this guy up here? There we go. Ah, just another tank. Like, honestly, this is just a ridiculous, ridiculous day. I don't know, man. I'm starting to think that this tackle box, let me get this guy back in there. I'm starting to think this tackle box was just good luck. I wish I could release him a little bit more properly as well, but as you guys can see, this is as close as I can get to the water. Holy crap, guys. That was definitely worth taking a revisit looking back at that tackle box. I'm so happy I found that in my room. I remember I looked at it and I was like, what exactly is that? Then I remembered the whole video and I was like, what the heck is in that? And now, man, 40 years old. That like really is old as far as fishing goes. Cause you know, I mean, every year they're coming out with new stuff, better improved stuff. This is back in a time where things were just a lot more simple. I mean, I can't imagine there were too many lures, too many different baits and people still caught fish back then. All right guys, well that is pretty much gonna do it here for this video today. I'm just like so hyped right now. I mean, I cannot have asked for anything more from the fishing guys. I'm just so grateful to have had this opportunity just to stick it to them, man. I mean, you need a session like this every once in a while, you know? Definitely the MVP here today goes to these two baits right here. I mean, they're both a little bit more beat up than they were originally, but this little jitterbug right here and then this little hula popper right there. I mean, it, this box. I just wanna use all this stuff, man, especially especially this guy right here. That is just beautiful. I mean, to me, this thing is literally a treasure chest. And for $5 too, that's crazy. So I just kind of want to take this time and thank each and every one of you for all the support. It really, really does mean a lot to me. Like the fact that all of you guys do support me and what I do and what I love to do, it's just, it means the world to me. I can't thank you enough. If you guys do enjoy my videos and if you are not already, definitely make sure to go down there and hit that subscribe button. And also, if you have not already, go down there and hit that notification bell right next to the subscribe button. That'll make sure you never ever miss a video from me because you know YouTube, it can be weird sometimes. I said that enough, but I mean, it is true. All of my links are down there in the description below, including my Instagram and my shirt. Definitely guys, let me know in the comment section below if you have any video ideas and definitely let me know if you guys like these kind of videos, you just know. Just doing a little bit of pond fishing, doing a little bit of puddle fishing. I feel like I just had to say it one more time. Thank you guys so much for all of the support. It really does mean a lot to me. I'm really still just having so much fun making these videos for you guys. So let's keep this rolling, man. Thank you guys for watching. See you next video. You